Hey there, thanks for checking out this video. Let's look at some of the new tools in Spectre Layers Pro 11. And we'll start things off with layer-based volume envelope automation on a project that you can also see and hear in our Pro 11 music unmixing processes tutorial. Make sure to check that out. We'll start with a live rock music track. Now here, I'm calling up the new Unmix Crowd Noise module and applying the process. Here's the music layer soloed. This layer has had just a tiny bit of cleanup work done to it using the transfer tool new in this edition. You can see how I did that in the other tutorial this project appears in. Here I'm going into full waveform display view. This is where the envelopes will appear. Here I'm activating the envelope on the crowd layer and you can see it appears bearing the layer's assigned color. Click to create a point and option click to delete it. Right clicking a point brings up options for you to edit its settings. Delete it, reset the entire envelope to its default setting, and view points against the grid. Double-clicking a point brings it back to 0 dB. Now here I'm drawing an envelope on the crowd noise layer to level it down by about 12 dB after the initial burst of applause, and then fade out at the end. Here I have my view split between waveform and spectral displays, so you can watch the spectrum change as I work, with brightness being a function of amplitude. And here's the soloed layer with the volume envelope applied. Non-destructively shifting content between source and destination layers is an amazing experience and a core editing strategy in Spectra layers. This new configurable brush tool accomplishes the job in real time as you draw over the source layer spectrum and instantly transfer audio content to your layers of choice. Listen to this clip. We've used it before on a previous data transfer tutorial. And once again, I'm performing unmixed components on it, but this time I'm accessing the process in the new modules panel and not the main menu bar. Tonal layer soloed. Transients. And noise. With the noise layer selected as the source, here I'm selecting the transfer tool, and here is where we specify where we want the transferred content to land. I'm choosing the tonal layer because we'll be recovering actual kalimba tones out of the noise. The transfer will strengthen the tonal layer, and here we're assuming that we want the best possible tonal layer we can get for subsequent post-processing. Here I'm soloing the noise, looping a selection, and using the transfer tool to move audio into the tonal layer. It's really important to note here that I'm not erasing any audio, I'm just moving it from layer to layer. Now there's a reason why we're revisiting this use case. Previously, we did not address recovering any of the kalimba sound from the noise layer. Of course, this is possible in version 10, but not with this level of ease and efficiency. Now you can adjust fades prior to finalizing selections. Here I have loop mode engaged on a guitar part. I am making a selection using the rectangular selection tool. Right-clicking before releasing the left button causes this pop-up menu to appear where I can change the time and frequency fades and listen to the changes as the selection loops. With the fades dialed in, simply click outside the selection and they become locked into place. Specific fade boundaries can now be independently edited. Listen to some of this drum loop.
Now listen to this selection that I've made. I'd like to capture this selection to use as a sample, so I need a smooth fade at the end while keeping the beginning super short. I can do this with the Selection Fade tool. Here I'm nudging the fade over a bit to make it longer. If I go too far in, I can bring it back by switching over to the Fade Sharpening tool and making it shorter. Here I'm trying to isolate some speech, and I would like to see smooth fades on these three selections. Whites can help us, but they can't join us. They can, there can be no black-white unity until there is first some black unity. With either the Selection Fade or Selection Sharpen tool selected, I can go into Global Fading Mode by pressing the Option key. With the key depressed, I can adjust all fades at once. Whites can help us, but they can't join us. They can, there can be no black-white unity until there is first some black unity. Now you can time reverse the audio in any selection. Listen to this clip. Reverse unacceptable language in any selection. Here I'm using the Unmix Song module to isolate the speech. Here's the speech layer soloed. Reverse unacceptable language in any selection. And here's the music solo. Now this is a superb voice extraction. AI-powered speech recognition is significantly improved in this edition. Here I'm selecting the unacceptable language phrase, opening the reverse module, and applying the process. Here's the result. Reverse in any selection. Okay, and here I'm performing a merge up operation to remix the clip, giving the layer a new name, and now I'm simply dragging the finished product out of the layers panel and into a folder on my desktop. Reverse in any selection. Mission accomplished. The new transient pencil tool allows you to draw transients directly in the spectrogram. Here, I'm using the mouse to draw some transients. They sound like this. Two power settings provide two different intensities. This setting is a bit more subtle, as you can hear and see. Drawing transients allows fixing damaged or missing transients, or creating special sound effects, which is what we are going to do now. And in this case, I have all my display panel controls showing, which is handy when doing sound design work like this. Okay, listen to this beat. Here I'm expanding my view and clicking once over each kick drum to place a transient burst at exactly 60 hertz. Here are the transients soloed. And the mix. And again, the original clip. In the previous edition, the silence, tone, and noise generators were grouped with other items under the process menu. Everything under this menu has been consolidated into the modules paradigm in Spectral Layers 11. The signal generator module takes the existing tools and adds a transients generator. Generators can be mixed, inserted, or used to replace existing content. Here I'm entering mix mode and blending in a tone. And then some noise. Last but certainly not least, a small but very convenient new feature. Up in the tools display, you can now easily switch tools using the mouse wheel, as opposed to having to access a drop-down menu. Spectra Layers 11 is now more powerful than ever. New and improved AI algorithms at the core of the program interact with new tools, a completely revised user interface, and a multitude of other improvements that together translate to a new level of raw power, creative control, and workflow efficiency. We hope you enjoyed this video. Spectral Layers delivers state-of-the-art spectral processing for editors in every field. Subscribe to the Steinberg YouTube channel and learn more about how you can leverage this application in your production workflow.